G'day cobbers, welcome back to the book, actually my driveway today. So today we're going to do an install of a radio. Now we're not looking at the antenna, just the radio installation, how we wire it up. Stick around to the end of the video and find out how you should wire up your radio so it doesn't interfere with use later on down the track. Righto guys, let's get into it. Okay, first thing we need to do is to remove this panel here. There's a couple of screws behind here, a couple down in the ashtray. We'll drop them out. Now this panel should pull out. Right now, now we just need to disconnect all the wires behind it. Okay, so I've mounted the unit under the dash here. This is under the glove box side. And there's a beam running across the top there that I've managed to screw the bracket to. Now, when you're deciding where to put your uh, radio, try and put it up high. Don't go for an easy spot like under a seat. Because if you flat out your car, your radio is going to be cactus. So try and get it up high. Now, it was a bit of a pain to get it up in here, but I think the effort's worth it. Okay, so to extend the reach of the microphone, all I've done is put in a, a panel socket network connector, which is an RJ45 on the Land Cruiser front panel there and I can plug the microphone into there and you can see here I've just run a two meter extension out from the unit itself which is located underneath the uh, above the glove box sorry and plug that into the back good to go now I've just got to reassemble this and it's provide some power for the unit itself so to get the wire easily through the firewall I've poked a 30 centimeter wire tie through from the other side which is a little bit easier than both bits of wire taped it onto the wire and I'll pull it back through the firewall from the other side okay now once you've found it you can detach your wire tie and pull it through the rest of the way okay so this is the current drill when we're receiving it's around about 300 milliamps okay we'll lock it on a high channel lock it in transmit and we'll go and check the current draw so while we're transmitting we're drawing about 1.6 amps Righto, so now to fit the magnetic mount, firstly there's half a dozen screws in the back, which I've already pulled out, pull them out, then we need to get the mount off, and replace it with the magnetic mount. So just one screw in the box at the top here. Now, unfortunately, that's a metric four, and there's no thread in the other one, so we're going to have to cut a thread into it. We'll do that now. So the M4 thread calls for a 3.3 mil pilot drill. Now, I don't have one of those, but I do have a 3.2, which is very close. So we'll run that through and see how we go. Radio, just needed a little bit off, and now I run the tap through. Okay, so I've just on the M4 tap through. And that should be fine now to take the thread from the N4 screw. Yep, and as you can see that seems to be working fine. Now I just need to reassemble it all. Okay, so we got that one mounted up and as you can see, just sticks there nicely. Job done. As you've seen, a magnetic mount is a worthwhile addition for any CB radio handpiece. Stops you messing around, especially in the dark when you can't see exactly what you're doing. You just put it near and the mag magnetism brings it together. And this is an icon and that one is a GME magnetic mount. Not sponsored by either company, but a worthwhile addition in my book, about $20 or so. Righto. So as you saw, we wired it to the accessory battery. And the reason we did that is so you can use the radio without having to have the ignition on. Now, standby currents are only around about 300 milliamps. So with a 100 amp hour battery, you don't want to discharge them fully. So about 50% for an AGM, a little bit more for a lithium, about 80%. But you can get down to 50% and charge it up. No worries without affecting the life of the battery. So you got effective 50 amp hours. So that will give you almost seven days on standby. Okay, now if you are camped on the side of the river for seven days, might need to turn your radio off. 
But other than that, if you're moving every day or second day, leave it on. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it the old thumbs up. Now, if you didn't, give it the old thumbs down. Twice. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next one. On the other side, we should be able to pull it out. Well, that didn't work. <laughs>